instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase II MET Ultrasonic Portable Hardness Tester. The MET series portable hardness testers are designed to test metals, primarily steels, aluminum, and copper alloys. It can do so non-destructively, unlike most other portable hardness testers. The technology incorporated is based on the UCI method of hardness testing. UCI, or ultrasonic contact impedance, is the measurement of the frequency shift of a resonating rod tipped with a Vickers diamond after applying a fixed force against the surface of the part to be tested. Certain workpiece parameters must be met for the UCI system to work properly. The minimum radius for a test is 5 mm. The workpiece needs a minimum thickness of approximately 1 mm. However, in the field, without support, that number may vary up to 2 mm depending on the material being tested. Coatings or layers need to be 10 times the indentation depth of test, which will vary depending on the load force used and approximate hardness of material. Should you have questions on this parameter, please contact Phase 2 directly. The next parameter is surface roughness. If you are testing precision machine parts with a surface finish of better than 100 micro inches or 2.5 microns, then you can use the 1.5 kilogram load probe for most of your applications. For those surfaces which are rougher, the 5 kilogram load has an approximate maximum of 4 microns or 160 micro inches. To clarify which model has which probe, the MET-U1A uses the 1.5 kilogram probe, while the MET-U1A50 uses the 5 kilogram probe. Now let's move over to the operation of the hardness tester and see how easy it is to utilize the different functions, taking tests, and obtaining results. To begin, insert the plug of the probe into the correct socket on the tester, carefully threading down. Press the bottom arrow on the tester to power up. The screen will show connecting sensor, then recognize the sensor being used, in this case ultrasonic sensor. The main interface screen brings you up in test mode, and from there it is easy to navigate throughout the menu. Hitting the up arrow button, you now see the word test flashing with arrows left and right. Hit the up arrow again, and this will bring us to scale. You will now see the word scale flashing with arrows. Left of this is the scale now being used, probably HRC, used for steels. If you press the right arrow button, you'll scroll through to HRB. This is used for aluminum. HV again, is used for steel. HB, which is Brunel, is also used for steel. Continuing to scroll right, H0, H1, 2, and 3 are all open programs. We can build any scale for metals as long as we have two reference blocks or workpieces of the same material being tested with a known value both high and low on the scale. This programming is easy and takes no more than five minutes. The operator can easily make programs if necessary with our engineer over the phone in no time at all. Clicking down after the confirmed scale is selected will allow you to test in that scale. Once clicking the down arrow to select your scale, you will now see the test blinking with arrows. This is the center point of the menu system. Scroll right using the right arrow, and then you will see calibration blinking. A down arrow button will take you to the calibration mode. However, note it is dangerous to do so in an already programmed scale, unless you have test blocks for that scale in the correct material. Pressing the right arrow button while calibration is blinking will bring you to process. If you hit the down arrow button, you can see it will take you to calculate mean value or, if pressing right or left, clear archives. Pressing the up arrow button any time brings you back to process in the blinking stage. Scrolling right again using right arrow button brings you to test. 
While blinking, press on the down arrow button to enter the test mode. You are now in archive test mode. Pressing the down arrow button activates the probe, puts you in measurement mode, and shows a flashing probe on the left of the screen. With brass foot being held by two fingers, flush against your workpiece or test block, apply a given downward load to probe without any vibration or movement left or right. This takes two seconds until its tone sounds and reading is shown. Let's take some tests and see the results. Pressing the down arrow button after five readings will give you an average. Testing notes you should consider are the importance of keeping the probe steady while testing. This will take a few minutes of practice to get the load force correct without any vibration. The brass foot can be removed if necessary to take tests in tighter areas. Make certain you are not in calibration mode unless you are purposely calibrating or recalibrating a scale. Also, if vibration right or left dur occur during test, causing an obscure reading, pressing the left arrow button once will remove that reading from memory. Each MET series portable hardness tester comes with calibrated test blocks, USB output cable, USB program driver disk, USB charger, calibration certificate, operation manual, and carry case. This concludes our application of function guide for the MET series ultrasonic portable hardness testers.